Let's talk about all electric cars coming to the market in 2022 and we're gonna start right now. Welcome to E4 Electric. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything moving forward, including our weekly electric car news. 2021 was a great year for electric cars, adding many EVs with great range and affordable pricing like the Ford Mustang Mach-E, Volkswagen ID.4 and a few others. But 2022 is going to be even bigger. So let's take a look at all of the EVs coming to the market. I will include those that have just started deliveries at the end of 2021, but really won't get those going until 2022. Just remember that some specs and pricing are not final. And if you are interested in one of these, uh, by the time you're watching this video, there may be more information and even a demo in your area. So let's get going and we will start with the big boys, the legacy auto manufacturers are finally getting into the game and coming out with some very decent EVs. Let's start with the BMW and they're coming out with not one but two electric vehicles in 2022. The first one is the iX SUV with a price tag a little over $80,000, a very decent 300 mile EPA range and 0 to 60 in 4.4 seconds. That what I call a monkey butt front grill comes with a self-healing coating that can smooth out scratches and small chips to make sure that the sensors can always operate correctly. And the second one is the BMW i4 sports sedan, also with a decent range of 300 miles. The price tag is in the mid 50s. The most powerful version goes zero to 60 in 3.7 seconds, but the cheaper version has not been announced just yet. If you thought BMW was doing well, check out Mercedes-Benz with four electric models in 2022. The first one is my favorite, the EQS. That's an electric version of the S-Class. It starts at around $100,000 with 350 miles of EPA range, 0 to 60, 4.3 seconds. And check out that beautiful screen. It comes with two years of unlimited charging at Electrify America. I loved the concept. Not that crazy about the production design, but the interior is heaven. Let's move on to the EQE with the same estimated 350 mile EPA range at around $60,000 essentially. It's a cheaper and smaller version of the EQS. Then we got the EQA and EQB, a very similar pricing, similar range at around 220 miles, but the EQB is a bit faster. Let's move on to Audi with the Q4 e-tron. Essentially, it's a luxury version of the Volkswagen ID.4. It starts at around $44,000 and has a sexy sportback version, 250 miles of range and zero to 60 in 5.8 seconds. And this is the Audi e-tron GT, one of the best EVs on the market, if you ask me. It's a great balance between luxury, performance, and, well, let's just admit it, looks 0 to 60 in 3.1 seconds 232 miles of epa range it will start at around a hundred thousand dollars it's supposed to be a porsche taycan's little sister but i'll take this car over taycan any day the next ev is the one that i am going to be a reservation holder for within like 10 seconds of their reservation page being up i will tell you what it is in just a second but before that a quick reminder that this video is brought to you by neocharge are you a home renter and don't have the ability to install your own home charger well forget about asking your landlord and share your electric dryers 220 outlet by plugging in the smart splitter from neocharge Get one using our discount code in the description of this video. And by Flow, if you are looking for one of the most elegant designs for your home charger, well, the Flow Home X5 was made for you. Featuring beautiful, sturdy, 100% aluminum casing, get your exclusive $150 discount in the description of this video. All right, let's move on to the car that I absolutely will buy when it's available. If it will be available, it will come at the end of 2022. I'm talking about the Volkswagen ID Buzz. We don't know many details about it. We know it's probably going to have over 300 miles of range. And you know what? I'll be happy if it has the same features as my ID4. And this is Cadillac Lyric, a great addition to the Bolt and Hummer EV within the GM family. It's a gorgeous electric vehicle for a reasonable price of under $60,000 with 
300 miles of range. The next one on the list is Mazda MX-30 for $33,500, dollars 0 to 60 uh, 9.4 seconds. It's got the cool clamshell doors. But here's a problem, only 100 miles of EPA range. Now, this sexy little thing is the Volvo C40 Recharge with 225 miles of range. It's a Volvo with a Volvo price at almost $60,000. And just like all electric Volvos and Polestar cars, this one has the Android Auto operating system with its own app store. Now, this beauty kind of snuck up on me. I didn't really know about it until pretty much last second. The deliveries have started in South Korea first. It is the Genesis Electrified G80 with about 220 miles of range and 0 to 60 in 4.9 seconds. And this is the all-electric Hummer EV. As a matter of fact, GM will never make a gas version ever again. The price tag is over $100,000. The future versions will be cheaper, but not by much. 0 to 60 in just 3 seconds with 1,000 horsepower, over 300 miles of EPA range. And look at this, a crab walk. Now, out of all electric trucks, I have to say this would be my number one choice. Now, let's move on to the exotics. And we have three this year. Check out this beautiful Pininfarina Batista at $2.2 million with 310 miles of range. I don't know why. 0 to 60 in 1.8 seconds, 1900 horsepower. Only 150 will be made. So if you have that kind of money, you better hurry up. This one is Rimat Nivera. Yes, that's how you pronounce it. $2.4 million, also 300 miles of EPA range, 0 to 60, 1.85 seconds, also 1900 horsepower, and once again, only 150 will be made. And this beauty is the Lotus Avaya at $2.3 million, but that's not enough to buy even 200 miles of EPA range. With this one, it will be right under that mark. But most owners probably will take a couple of months to drive it even that far. 0 to 60 under 3 seconds. It will charge at 350 kilowatts. That's a lot. Almost 2,000 horsepower and only 130 will be made. Let's switch to the electric car startups because they are offering some amazing alternatives as well. Let's start with the Bollinger B1 and B2 at $125,000 each. 200 miles on 120 kilowatt hour battery. Uh, okay, 0 to 60, 4.5 seconds. But I gotta tell you, I think this is their last chance. If they don't come to market with this one this year, this could be the end for them. But they do have one of the nicest CEOs in the world, Robert Bollinger. Let's move on to the Faraday Future FF91. This company had more lives than my cat. This car will be way over $100,000. Essentially, it's a luxury version of a Maybach type of a car with a spa mode. 0 to 60 in 2.4 seconds. That's insane. Their CEO, Karsten Breitfeld, is the former Byton CEO and the original head of the i program at BMW. And this is the Fisker Ocean. This company is headed by the world famous car designer Henrik Fisker. This car will be produced by Magna. The price tag is $37,500, 250 miles of range. 0 to 60 in 2.9 seconds. Let's move on to the Polestar 3. And this one is a maybe, so not much information is available. It looks like it will have over 300 miles of range. And of course, the Android Auto OS. But uh, just like any Polestar, it will probably be a little overpriced. Let's move on to the Lightyear 1. And this one is a maybe as well. But boy, I would love to see this car on the road. $170,000 though. 0 to 60 in 10 seconds, over 400 of EPA miles. It has built-in solar panels into the body. Check it out. And it gives the car up to 20 miles per day just from the sun. Let's move on to the Rivian R1S, which is the SUV version of the R1T, which is the pickup truck. Now, the pickup truck has been out for a couple of months at the end of 2021. Now, it does look like the Amazon vans are the priority for Rivian, but R1S should be next. It starts at around $70,000, has 316 EPA rated miles, 0 to 60 in 3 seconds. Now, this uh, goofy little thing is the canoe van. It will start at around $35,000, will have a 250 miles of range. Now, I don't know who would actually buy it, but 
It is unique, uh, so we'll see. Let's talk about the Lucid Air. Now, this company is headed by Peter Rawlinson, a man many credit for bringing the Tesla Model S to market back in 2012. It has 520 miles of range, which is the industry record, at least right now. 0 to 60 in 3.2 seconds. 350 kilowatt charging, which will add 300 miles of range in just 20 minutes. And much like the ID4 buyers, like myself, Lucid Air buyers will also get three years of unlimited fast charging on the Electrify American network. The starting price is under $80,000, but the best version is closer to $200. Now, this cutie is made by Aptera. It is not officially a car, but a three-wheeled EV people have already fallen in love with. Sandy Monroe is one of the investors and advisors. It starts at around $26,000. The top version goes up to 1,000 miles on a single charge, but that includes the energy that it gets from the solar panels built into its body. Now, let's get to the most popular electric vehicles that everyone is anticipating in 2022. The Ford F-150 Lightning with over 160,000 reservations already made. The price starts under $40,000. 300 miles of EPA range and it will power up your house. Right behind it, the Chevy Silverado Electric with over 400 miles of range and all-wheel steering. Check that out. But it will be fully unveiled at CES, so there's not many details right now. The Hyundai Ioniq 5. A lot of people are waiting for this car. 300 miles of range, 0 to 60 in 5.2 seconds. And look, 350 kilowatt charging. That means it can charge from 10 to 80% in just 18 minutes. And oh, it can also power up appliances and your campsite. Let's talk about the Nissan Aria, which I think is going to be one of the most popular EVs in 2022. It has a little under 300 miles of range. The price tag is around $46,000, but they are promising cheaper models. Now, the Ionic 5 has a little sister, which is the Kia EV6. It will start at around $45,000 with around 250 EPA rated miles, 0 to 60 in about 3.5 seconds for its GT variant, 350 kilowatt charging, just like the Ionic 5, that means 10 to 80% in 18 minutes. It has the augmented reality navigation system and it can also power up your appliances and your campsite. Now this is Subaru's very first EV, the Subaru Solterra. It will have about 250 miles of EPA range, but that's all we know right now. Now this is Toyota's very first real EV called BZ4X, or as I call it, the Solterra original. As you can see, this EV is pretty much a copy of the Subaru Solterra or the other way around, I don't know, doesn't really matter. Toyota is one of Subaru's biggest investors, so I guess that makes a little sense. Would you be surprised if I tell you that the stats are almost identical too? But I really think that this one will sell pretty well. And now the most popular and anticipated electric vehicle of 2021 and now 2022 because the production was pushed back now there are a lot of specs and pricing options but you know with tesla you just never know so we will just have to wait and see but one thing we do know that it has over 1 million reservations all right that's a lot of new electric vehicles coming to the market in 2022 i can't wait to see all of them on our roads let me know in the comment section which one you're planning on getting all right Looking forward to all of your comments. Other than that, I will see you guys next time. And remember to stay charged. Take it